Okay, this is a Microsoft Excel tutorial specifically with dealing with dates. Um, for example, I typed in four people's names and birth dates. Now, if I was to go in and try to calculate something like this, I could do, you know, one year, and I could do equal C3 plus 365. Okay, and that's approximately one year. Okay. Um, but let's say I wanted to use something in a formula. Now, if I wanted to know what today was, there's a formula that I could do, and I could type equal today parentheses in parentheses. And that will actually give me today's date. Okay? So what I could do is I could do equal today minus C3. Okay, now that doesn't make a lot of sense there because it's giving me an actual year. Okay? Um, so obviously 2007 minus 1968 is not 1939. Um, so what I want to do here is figure out the mathematical way of doing this. Okay, so when Microsoft Excel does dates, these look to us like dates. But to Microsoft Excel, what they really look like are these numbers. All right, that's how many days have happened since they began calculating days, which doesn't really make a lot of sense, I know. But um, what I'm going to do now is if I take this and copy it down, you'll see I get these different years. But I'm going to go back to my cells and then do general. And so that should be how many days difference there are, okay, between today and the day the person was born. So if I then took equal D3 times, oh, 365, actually, divided by 365, that puts my age at about 39.5 years old. Alright, so I'm going to drag that down. So that's age. Okay, so really, I mean, even though if I was to go back and format this as a date, it doesn't change this out here, but it doesn't make any sense. What, what happens when you do today minus a date, it gives you the number of days that have occurred since that date. Okay, I hope that makes sense because it's a, it confused me and it still kind of throws me every once in a while. I have to kind of think about it again. All right, and okay, so now that's how that's my actual age, assuming that we're going to start exactly at the time it is now. Okay, now if I wanted to figure out other stuff. I've got the days that I've lived, but if I did equal D3 um, times 24, okay, that's the hours that I've lived, more or less. Okay, so you can kind of get creative that way, but okay, so you could do this. Let's say this was higher date, and you know, this is, let me just do it this way. I'm going to copy this. Okay, name, and I'll put hired. And then here, instead of 60, I don't want to do like 1998, 1994, 2000, 2002. Okay, so this is the number of days seniority. All right, and then seniority years. So this is how many years seniority people have. All right, so this could be a good way of figuring out who has seniority. In fact, if I was to click here and go to data sort, I can actually sort by seniority years and know that Lori is one of those people that's going to get first choice on holidays, you know, all that kind of stuff. All right, so again, that's just using dates. Equal today. Okay. And 
it's really kind of a neat way to do this. You can put something, make up a form or something, and have your date change depending on what the day is. If I do equal now, you'll see that I have an actual hour. All right, so you can see how late I work on these things. <laughs> it's almost midnight. Um, anyway, so I hope that helps you. And you know, if you have any questions, email me. This is a little bit tricky but I'm hoping it um, becomes useful. Thank you very much.